Okay, first of all, here's a Sephardic story. <clears throat> once there was, uh, once there were two women, one woman was complaining all the time. She didn't believe in God. The other one had tremendous faith in God, and especially in the tzaddikim, the righteous Jews. They got married. As fate would have it, the complaining wife, the one that didn't believe in anything, she got married to a man that did believe. He believed in God. He believed in the tzaddikim. And the righteous wife, the one who had faith in God and believed in the tzaddikim, she got married to a man that didn't have any faith in God. Didn't have any faith. And it so happened that both of these wives, their husbands, got into trouble. The one wife that was the believer, her husband got into big debts. Taxes, owed taxes to the king. <clears throat> the wife who was the non-believer, her husband got terribly sick. So they went to the tzaddik <clears throat> and they asked for, there was a big tzaddik there living in this, maybe it was Jarba or someplace like that, Jarba in, in Tunis. There were big tzaddikim over there. Chaim Tayyib was. So they went to the tzaddik and asked for help. They both gave in letters and the tzaddik knew that the poor one The poor one, he had to just trust in God. And the sick one, he said to do what's called, uh, what are they called? Uh, suction cups and leeches. That would help. But the faithful servant of the big tzaddik, he never made a mistake. This time he made a mistake. And he came out and he gave the, mixed up the, replies of the Rebbe. So the one that was sick, that he was supposed to put leeches on, and he got the answer, believe in God, have faith in God. And his wife, which was the non-believer, she said, look at this, believe in God. That's going to help. We've been all to the doctors that God is going to help. Nothing's going to help you. And you have to you're sick and you're dying. But he looked at this and he realized the Rebbe said, I have to believe in God. So he, be he believed in God even more and prayed. <clears throat> and with his faith, and his, whatever, God did a miracle and he healed. His faith opened up the door. The other one who was a debtor. <clears throat> so he was the, the man was the non-believer. And his wife was the believer. She opened up the, this, he's a debtor, he's got big debts. He has to put suction cups on and, and leeches. <clears throat> the man said, what in the world is this going to help me? Put on leeches. I got enough trouble as it is. This, that's, his wife said, listen, I have faith in the tzaddikim. I have faith in God. Whatever the tzaddik says is the word of God. I believe in it. Suction cups. So she puts suction cups on his back. He lays down and puts leeches on his front, whatever it is. And he's laying there and the blood is being sucked out, up to the surface and drained out of his body. Suddenly there's a knock on the door. <clears throat> A knock on the door. She leaves her husband. And who was there? Three big soldiers from the king. We come to collect our debt. What do you mean to collect our debt? So what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't know that your husband owes 500 uh, gold pieces to the king? And she's arguing back and forth. Meanwhile, her husband is laying there. He was supposed to leave the, the cups. The doctor said to put the cups on there. Or whoever said to put the cups just for five minutes or something like that. And he's already laying there for 15 minutes. And meanwhile, they're yelling and they're screaming. It says, says, well, all of a sudden she says, well, my husband, he's, he's sick. He can't come. He, he's sick. Now. We don't care if he's sick. We'll bring him to the king. They come in the room and she runs into the room before them, takes off the cups and the leeches, hides them in the bay. Come, they see this, all these laying there in this puddle of blood. They say, well, he looks terrible. What happened to him? <clears throat> he said, and she said, no, he's sick. I told you you have to leave him alone. We're not leaving him alone. The king 
ordered us, if we don't bring them back, we're going to get in big trouble. They put a blanket on the ground, threw him on the blanket, grabbed the corners of the blanket, and brought him to the king. Comes to the king. <clears throat> the king said, what did you bring them? Said, did you open, what's, what did you bring him in a, in a blanket for? What, did you bring him? They opened up the blanket. What happened to him? What happened? His wife is running after them. And his wife is screaming, thieves, thieves, they're stolen, you're kidnappers. The king said, thieves, kidnappers in my kingdom, kidnappers, they did this to this man. What did they do? So his wife all of a sudden pops into her mind. She said, yeah, he had all the money to give, but the thieves came and they stole it. They stole, they beat up my husband and they stole the money. So they, they stole the money that he was going to give. I don't believe it. He calls his doctor, the official doctor, and says, listen, my official doctor will take care of it. There's not going to be such a thing. This lawlessness in my country, it's not going to be such a thing. I'm not going to allow it. And 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 just to, to reco recompensate you, uh, the, 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 you can forget about the debt, and I'm even going to give you money, and I'll, they'll, they'll heal you, and the, the, the doctor will heal you, and et cetera. And he sent out people to look for the, make extra protection on the, the roads so there won't be any highway robbers. So it ended up that it came out good, that the, the, the advice that was given to both people, even though it was the opposite advice that the tzaddik gave, it ended up that it worked. Okay, now you can explain, how can you explain it? You can explain it to listen. <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, it was a, it was an accident that just happened. You know, it just happened at work. <clears throat> or you can look at it, listen, if they would have done exactly what the tzaddik said, it also would have worked. It also could have, could be, could be a work. But here we see <clears throat> that, you know, did God do a miracle that only this is the only way that it would have worked? Or was it that despite the fact that it didn't go this way, the fact of the matter is, is that things happen in ways that solutions come in ways that we don't expect. And God does exist and God does care. And that if we do believe in the creator and also we take the necessary steps to be partners with him, is that that will be sufficient to bring a healing. Story number one. Now I'll tell you story number two, and I'm going to turn this off, and I'll tell you story number two.